I'm Chef Ken Arnone, and right now we're going to be doing a demonstration on grilling vegetables. Grilling is a relatively high heat method of cooking, which for most vegetables means that your cook time is going to be relatively short. Grilling adds a bold flavor to vegetables, it can be done in advance, and it's also relatively healthy. Another great point is that you can really add different herbs and spices to your liking. Some of the different types of vegetables that are great for grilling are zucchini, yellow squash, onions, eggplant, bell peppers, artichokes, corn, eggplant, and fennel. Some cultures even grill potatoes and sweet potatoes. One thing that's important to understand, some of these vegetables that have a longer cook time may require blanching before grilling. This will help cut down on cook time and also potentially prevent burning. The vegetables that we're going to be grilling today, we've brushed with extra virgin olive oil, seasoned with salt and pepper, and we have a little bit of crushed garlic on there. Now, the asparagus that we have are relatively thin, which means that they're going to have a short cook time, so they don't need to be blanched. One great technique for corn on the cob, instead of fully shucking it, pull the outside back, take the hairs off, put the outside back forward and soak it in water for about an hour or so. Make sure that before you put it on the grill, you brush it with a little bit of olive oil and season it with salt and pepper. While your vegetables are grilling, you want to check underneath and see how the grill marks look and you want to make sure you're not having any flare-ups and that the vegetables are burning. About a quarter of the way through the cook time, you want to turn your vegetables and that's going to give you nice grill marks or in the restaurant industry they say crosshatch marks. Now these vegetables have been cooking for about two to three minutes on each side and you can see you're starting to get a light char on the edges and it's time to turn them over. The asparagus you can just roll them gently and one thing you'll notice that I should have mentioned about the asparagus we put them perpendicular with the grates instead of parallel you put them parallel and you're going to be diving down for them. And the corn you just want to rotate every couple of minutes to ensure you get even cooking on those. Our asparagus are ready to come off right now. Right on the surface we can see that there's just a little bit of light bubbling and again there's a very light charring on them. If you have any concerns you can certainly take one off and take a bite. Now the zucchini are ready to come off. Another great way to test most vegetables is use your tongs and lift it up on the edge and you can see that they begin to soften. Another note is that also the zucchini begin to bubble in the center. That's how you know they're done. Check our peppers as well, and they're looking great. And a great way to finish these grilled vegetables is by adding a little bit of salsa verde. Now our corn in the cob is ready to come off the grill. Once again, grilling is an excellent technique to work with vegetables and really bring out a bold flavor. Enjoy. Enjoy.